Sea of Thieves features PvP that tends towards the bombastic. Guns, blunder bombs, cannons. Damn it, oh, come on, come on. Okay. The quietest weapon is the sword and it's still fairly loud. Two dead. Sea of Thieves just isn't a stealth game, unless we make it one. But to do that, you're gonna have to be a sneaky bastard. Part three, ships. Stick to the end and I'll show you the best hiding spot on the most popular ship in Sea of Thieves. First off, I should remind you, as I said in my sneaking basics video, wearing dark clothes, no glowy cosmetics, and going barefoot will make you harder to detect on the deck of a ship. Also, the barrel disguise emote does not move along with the deck of a ship. So especially if a ship's in rougher water, it'll be pretty easy to tell which barrel is the fake. Any ship's crow's nest is an okay spot. It gives you a bird's eye view of your opponents. But it's also a spot where newer players especially seem to spend a lot of time. So you might get caught up here. If you get onto an enemy ship undetected and they have a loot pile going, you can always use the hide emote in that loot pile, wherever it may be. Honestly, more times than not, that's going to be the right decision to make. Okay, the Galleon has lots of places to tuck on unsuspecting crews. My favorite is here, behind the captain's chair. It lets you see the quarters where mini crews put their loot, giving you a great opportunity to steal something they without them ever knowing. Here. Got if you need a view of whatever's going on outside the ship, here on the gallery is great. If you have access to the deck, you can jump over the side onto one of these railings over here. But make sure the ship is anchored in such a way that you're not going to be seen by anyone. Here, way on the back of the quarter deck, you can jump up, turn around to face the other way, slowly move backwards until you fall, and land right here. No one ever looks over here, but someone off the ship could easily see you, so be careful. Probably the best place on a galleon's deck, though, is right here between this railing and helm. On the second deck, the best place is to use the barrel emote here. It's surprising how often I've gotten away with this one. And then down here on the lowest deck, behind the stairs, using the barrel emote. You'll probably never be found down there, but you really don't get a good view of anything. There's no way around it. The brig is the hardest ship on which to tuck. The deck has no great spots at all even, so go ahead and just use the crow's nest if you find yourself needing to hide on the deck of a brig. Downstairs, it's a little easier. Here behind the wood barrels is a pretty easy spot to miss. Up here near the map table, there are two barrels on this side, but only one over here. Also, it lets you keep an eye on where they are using their map. Back here behind their captain's table is probably the best spot on our brig, but over here behind the curtain on the bed isn't too bad if you use the wall hide emote and remember to face the correct way. Obviously, I should take my own advice about not using cosmetics that glow. The sloop is the most popular ship, and on it are several great places to hide. Behind the map table is an easy spot to miss as long as they don't need to repair back here, and right here next to the quest table is a surprisingly decent place. In fact, if the streamer known as Boxy Fresh ever tucked on me and wiped me and my brother several times over, he did in fact hide right there. If that happened. To me. And finally, the best hiding spot in Sea of Thieves. My favorite, the canopy tuck. Now this works on both sides, but I find the starboard side, that's this one over here, has a little more room. Hop up here, then slowly inch forward until you see yourself drop a little. When you use the hide emote, you completely disappear and you have a full view of their entire deck. If you move even a little after that small drop, you'll fall off the side into the water and have to start all over again. I recommend starting the game, spinning up a sloop, and practicing this move over and over. It's really hard to get right, but practicing again and again will make you a canopy hiding expert. Hopefully this helps. If you know of any great hiding spots I didn't mention, let us know in the comments. Check out my Sea of Thieves stream at twitch.tv slash calico snack, and I'll see you out there. Possibly.